Hello friends, in this session we will talk about the modern communication side in SharePoint Online. During this session I am going to cover most of all the things about the communication side, different features provided by the communication side and also I am going to cover about the navigation and permission structure about the communication side. I am going to divide this particular session into different video series so that you can get all the information handy. So this is the first introduction video about the communication side. So throughout the session I am going to cover about this agenda. So first we will talk about what is communication site and why we are using the communication site. Then I am going to discuss about the why we, what is the difference between the modern team site and communication site. Then I am going to show you the different out of the box templates provided by the communication site. And I am going to do a quick demo for all the templates like topic, showcase and blank template. At last. We are going to cover about the navigation structure in communication site and permission model in communication site. And last we will talk about the different use cases about the communication site. So now let's get started. So first we will talk about what is communication site and why we are using the communication site. The word communication itself says you want to share something with your peers, co-workers, vendors, external vendors and external folks. So communication site is a brand new way to publish your content with a larger audience. So for an example, this communication site only focus on the content and its responsive layout. It doesn't depend on the backend building of the site. So we can say that the SharePoint communication site template is out of the box to build a beautiful responsive website where the content authors can create the content from your application and share in a mid minutes. Some folks have question in their mind that uh, SharePoint already provides the modern team site. Then why they introduce the communication site? What is the basic difference between the communication site and modern team site? Basically on your SharePoint intranet portal when you click on create site you have two options. First is to create a team site and second is to create a communication site. So now uh, just check these two images. So first one is about the team site and second one is about the communication site. As you see the image of the team site, basic image represents the team. So basically when you, you want to work within the team, you want to share your documents, you want to share your conversation with your team and you want to keep track of your events, some managing some tasks and uh, lots of other things which team site can handle. At that time you can go with this particular team site. Now if you see the image of communication site, one person is announcing something, uh, there are some achievement as shown in the screen. So basically uh, this is something uh, which you want to share uh, with your organization. Like uh, you want to create some uh, dynamic beautiful content uh, to the people in your organization to keep them informed about the various achievements, showcase, events and projects. At that time, you can go with the communication site. So if I read the description of uh, both the team site and communication site, we can say that team site, uh, share documents, have conversation with your team, keep track of event, manage tasks and more with a site connected to Office 365 group. And if I read the content of communication site, you can see here, publish dynamic, beautiful content to people in your organization to keep them informed and engaged on topic events or projects. So this is some basic difference about the team site and communication site. Now let's check some other differences about the team site and communication site. So, so basically the first question arises in your mind that when to use a team site and when to use communication site. So here is a basic difference between the team site and communication site. If your main purpose is collaboration at that time you should go with the team site and if your main purpose is to broadcast something or to publish something with a large number of audience you can go with the communication site. Now let's talk about the important of members, contributors and audience in both the team sites and communication site. If you go with the team site, most of 
every members are contributing their content within the team every member are sharing their documents or creating some task or events etc while in the case of communication side only the content creator are creating the content and other people are act as an audience so in the case of team side there are many contributors and in the case of communication side there are few contributors now let's talk about the end user and or an audience or a readers so in the case of team side few members are act as a readers while in the communication side a wider range of audience are act as a readers so this is the main difference between the team side and communication side now let's talk about the office 365 groups so when you are creating a team site in back end office 365 group is automatically created while in the case of communication site it just create a communication site nothing else so in the team site you can create uh, automatically creates like office 365 groups calendar one not mailbox and planner as per the setting now let's take some use cases or scenario like when to choose team site and when to choose communication site for an example in my organization i am start i am going to start a new product development and i want to involve few team members in my team will develop the product at that time i can go with the team site i will create one team site most of the all team members creating the task schedule plans etc so this is the case when i should go with the team site now in the case of communication site for an example uh, i have a product and about that product i want to some bro i want to broadcast some news or going to publish some news at that time i am going with the communication side for an example uh, my product xyz which is in development so uh, only developer people are aware about it so at that time team site is best for it but now i want to inform about this product to my organization like uh, we have a launching date on this and this and uh, we we have this features in our product this this is something that like like a showcase or like a announcement i can create one communication site in my internet portal and i can uh, get engaged with a larger audience of my organization so this is the basic difference between the team site and communication site so both the team site and communication site have its own beauty so use it wisely as per your requirement we cannot use communication site for collaboration and we cannot use team site for a communication purpose so choose it wisely now in the next session we will talk about how we can create the communication site and which are the different templates provided by the communication site and i am going to describe each and every piece in detail so that's all for this particular session stay connected with me thank you for watching this video if you have any doubt related to this topic mail me at drubinsha16@gmail.com for more updates stay tuned with us on facebook if you really like this video don't forget to subscribe my channel